Alright, I just want to show everybody real quick on how to, just a general overview of cleaning up a model. Uh, this may depend on who you are or how, you know, where you are in a construction project, uh, being that if you're a, a subcontractor, a, a GC, design firm, whatever it may be. Uh, but the, here's some general rules of a model that you would link in and sort of how to clean that up pretty quickly just so, you know, it's not, you know, it, it may or may not cause you problems. Um, this may mitigate whatever it is. So one of the things I, I, uh, I just want to say real quick is that uh, the, this workflow is great for Dynamo, so that's definitely an option. Uh, but I want to just show sort of what uh, I usually clean up within a model. And the first thing is, is I'll, I'll purge out all the views. Uh, that isn't necessarily important to me because all I'm doing is linking in the model elements. You know, for example, if, if there's walls in here, I, I just want that geometry. So I'll purge all this out. And you can manually do that pretty easily. If you just come in, you can select and then delete them that way. Uh, after I get all those done, I'll do, I'll come up here to manage. And then I'll do purge unused. And pretty much what all that's doing is purging everything that's not within the modeled space. Or any plan views nothing so it's not actually being used this is sort of being stored in the background uh, usually you can find it within your project browser it's purging out all the unused stuff so as you see there's 324 items uh, checked and then if we say okay we have 32 checked I purge it uh, three to four times it usually after three, um, but just, you know, check it, see if it's zero, you're good, you've purged all the unused items. Uh, from there, I'll jump into my managed links, and I'll see if there's any empty CAD links that it's trying to grab, or, or any link CAD models that it's grabbing. Uh, generally, speaking from my background, a CAD, if they do have link CAD models, it's not necessarily valuable to me because I usually have those from the, the subcontractor as well. So they're usually referencing other subcontractors' content, which I'm already doing. I just don't want to have replications of that content, but also if their content is outdated, I don't want to be relying on what they have linked into their model. So, again, with Revit content, usually that's not being linked because it's not referencing anything. Uh, it depends on how they bring it into the model or how they they give you the, the data. So, that's all dependent. But, uh, that's pretty much it for that. I, uh, another way is going into you can check to see if there's any imported elements that you may or may not need depending on what uh, um, if they're importing external CAD files that way and they're bringing them into the file you can clean them up identify what they are and then and then take them out uh, that again is going to be in your Usually you'll be in your, your CAD formats, formats. So hopefully this helps. Please let me know if I missed anything or if there's anything that you guys try that uh, works a little bit better. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please like, share, comment. Uh, uh, see you next video.